Back at the old cook shack, getting ready to make a nice charcoal fire over here in the Weber. Uh-oh, we got a bunch of golden doodles out here, golden doodles. Okay, so what are we going to use today to start this fire? Now, I've got about three different methods that I use. I've got a chimney that you put some newspaper in the bottom, some charcoal on the top, and light it. I also, sometimes in the wintertime, will take a nice square point shovel as such and go in the house and grab a big double handful of coals out of the uh, wood stove and bring it out here to start a fire that way. And today is one more method. Now, this is a very clean smelling approach. You go to Walmart, buy you this. Don't buy the 70. Buy the 91% isopropyl alcohol. Then you break out your avocado oil. This is my absolute favorite for treating my cast iron skillets and giving them a treat and a half. And you go ahead and pour you about that much alcohol in there and load up a little bit of oil about till it starts to turn colors, about that much oil, not too much because that's kind of spendy. But you want enough oil that uh, when the alcohol pulls that into the charcoal, it will give you something that doesn't just burn up real quick. The problem with alcohol is it burns so fast. So look at that oil. See that oil? It went down the bottom of that. See that? That won't work very good. So what we'll do, we'll give that a little stir. Let's see if I can find something out here at the old cook shack. Let's look, look at all this crazy stuff. This crazy cook shack. There's a nice little uh, multicolored rainbow doodad. Put that in there and give that a little stir. This is super scientific. Not everyone can do this. So if you're at your house and uh, you have some alcohol and some avocado oil, you got to use a whisk that has all the different colors. If you don't, it's, it's never going to work. So then, like that, let's go over here and tell the doggers, get out of here, doggers. And there, oh, look, someone was kind enough to put the charcoal out here. So here we go, here we go, here we go. That's a lot of alcohol. That's a lot of oil. We're going to pour it to it. Make sure every briquette gets the exact right amount. And if you don't hit them exactly the right amount, it probably is never going to work. But the cool thing about this, unlike the stuff you buy from uh, the store, that starter fluid, starter fluid has a really weird taste to it if you don't get it all burned out good. But with this, we will burn this long enough that the fire goes out, the flames go out, and the charcoal is burning good. Now watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, uh, well, hey, you know what? We're getting ready to cook, boys. Watch it go. Look at that. Now that alcohol light's easy, and it's more flammable than the uh, starter fluid, so you got to watch it. Don't ever pour this stuff onto hot coals. It will blow up in your face. So now, I'm going to take this grate down here. Put it up on there, sanitize it. The dogs think they need to clean it and lick it, and that's not going to work. So we're going to clean that, let the fire clean that real good. And we'll scrub it down with a scrubby brush once the fire does its thing to it. It'll be in good shape. Look at that. Now that is a quick down and dirty method. This is down and clean method of starting a fire using, what did we use? We use this right here, 91% isopropyl alcohol with his uh, nice comrade here, avocado oil, refined avocado oil. That's not too bad of a cost. And I use that for a little bit of everything. So it's good for, for uh, coating your pan right before you put some uh, eggs in there to fry or right before you cook a steak. Just put a thin coat of that avocado oil. That works great. It has no taste, it's neutral, and it'll go up to 550 degrees without a bit of problem. So let's check this and see what's happening over here with the fire. I think that's going to go. You get charcoal with that big raging fire like that for more than two full minutes, and that charcoal will light. So these little pups are going to tend the fire and make sure it stays uh, safe. And one of them's got some grill marks on his nose. That tells me that uh, he's guilty. Been out here messing with my grill. And there's the mama. She's checking. So we'll come back out here in a little while. It's starting to rain, and we'll throw some nice chicken thighs on here and get them smoked up real good. See you back here in a few minutes. Over and out for now.